When I read in the news that my pillow products were pulled from large retailers such as HEB, Kohl's, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Wayfair, I was quite infuriated because of the the free speech and freedom of choice to purchase what you'd like in America is so important to me. So I went over to the Kohl's shop. I went to their store here in my town. I took my credit card. I met with the manager and asked them to please cut my credit card in two because I was so disgusted with the decision that the Kohl's CEO made to pull my pillow products. And I encouraged everyone that I know to do the same and stand up for what you believe. And we must value our freedom of speech and our freedom of choice. Well, for one thing, I love my pillow. My husband and I have had our pillows for several years now, and they still are as wonderful as the day we bought them. So we're so pleased with the, with the, um, with the quality of the product. So we were sold on that to begin with. Then when I learned more about Mike Lindell and his story, um, coming up from a very difficult earlier life, from what I understand, and he's beat all the odds. And in the American way, he has, he has um, strived and been very, very successful with his business, which is, um, I'm very proud of him. Also, his conservative and his Christian values, I greatly support. Um, so I really admire people who take a stand and are not afraid to say how they feel about things. Uh, so when I heard a couple of weeks ago on the news that uh, my pillow product had been pulled from various stores such as Kohl's, uh, Wayfair, um, Bed Bath and & Beyond, and then our wonderful HEB grocery stores, which are all over the state of Texas, which we love HEB. My gosh, the owner is a Texan. What is he thinking? <laughs> and when those had been pulled, I was infuriated. So I got in my car and I drove to Coles that's here in our town. Our town is a midsize. It's probably about 70,000 people. I would say that's midsize. I went to Coles, which is a really big deal in our town. It's the only department store really left that's close into our town. And I frequent them a lot. I have one of their charge cards. I've spent a lot of money there. And so I walked into their store with a charge card in hand and I asked to speak to the manager. She kindly came right up to me and I asked for a pair of scissors. I said, I'd like for you to cut my charge card in half because I am profoundly disappointed with, I said, I know it's not your decision. It was your CEO's decision for pulling the MyPillow products from your shelves simply because of Mike Lindell's free speech and his conservative values. And um, I said, I'm not mad at you because I know it wasn't your decision. I said, but I, I, you will never see me darken the doors of your store again. And she said, well, I can't really cut it in half myself, but I can hand you a pair of scissors and you can cut it. I said, I would appreciate that. So she did so. And I proceeded to cut it in half. I said, now, would you mail this to the CEO of Kohl's? And she said, oh, I can't do that. I said, well, I want you to be sure to get this word up the chain because I want her to know that I'm really, really unhappy with her decision. And so, um, and in fact, I said, I said, I guess this means now that she's only going to be hiring Democrat employees and only be purchasing from Democrat manufacturing companies. And I said, that is flat wrong. That's totally against the American way. I said, it's only more divisive. And this is not what our country needs right now. And I'm totally disgusted with her decision. So she said, well, I'll tell my higher up and I'll tell them. So I left. I came home. I immediately got on the computer and I looked up the information for the CEO of Kohl's. I saw that it was a woman, Melissa Goss or Gas. I'm not sure how she pronounces it. So I found the number for her executive offices and I proceeded to call that number. I knew I wouldn't reach her, but I wanted to talk to whoever I could in that office and let them know how I felt. Well, it was just a recording machine, but they, they connected me with that. And I left a long message with what I just told you, what I had done. <clears throat> and the recording on there said, please leave your phone number and an email address and we'll get back with you. Well, this was almost a couple of weeks ago and I haven't heard back from them at all. Then after I hung up the phone, then I got on my computer and I looked up Mike Lindell's information because I wanted my pillow. I wanted to share with them 
how disgusted I was about the decision of these real retail shops. So at that point, um, I, I found the, the website, the pissed off customer or whatever it's called. And I went on there and that's where I went ahead and aired my views. Um, so I, I just am in full support of, of Mike Lindell and what, what, what he has stood for for America. And he should not be bullied or punished because of his free speech. Well, I, because, um, and this is what, I even went to a meeting that evening. Um, of It was a conservative meeting here in our county. And the issue of, of Mike Lindell and my pillow was brought up. And, um, and how unhappy everyone in that room. There were well over 100 people there, and they were all so unhappy. And several people had even said they had already gone ahead and sent emails in. And I stood up and told my story of what I did. And I said, I know I'm just a little bitty nobody here in the middle of Texas. I said, but we're so overwhelmed by all that's going on right now in our country. What in the world can little old me do to make a difference? And I said, I know it was small and I'm sure it's not going to matter to the CEO of Kohl's. I said, but this is what I did. And I said, I challenged each and every one of you to go do this same thing with these retailers who have shunned the MyPillow product simply because of free speech. And they were all so enthusiastic and they all applauded me for what I did. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's just something that I could do to take a stand to show more than just myself how I feel about this. And that's why I decided to get that out there. You know, sadly, you know what happened to the Goya products um, a, a couple of months ago when the CEO of Goya took a stand and supported our president at the time. And what happened? They uh, Some people completely boycotted the items, uh, the Goya items on the grocery store shelves. But as a result, though, if you're aware of this, then what happened? Those who really supported what he said in taking a stand with his free speech and his freedom of choice, then they all ran to the grocery store and bought everything they could off of the Goya shelf just to support him. I mean, I went to our HEB and the Goya products were gone. They, were, they said, we hope to get more in as soon as we can. At least we had an opportunity to make a choice if we choose to boycott a particular item that's in a retail store, if we want to boycott that manufacturer for whatever personal reasons we may have. But if a manufacturer chooses to remove the, the, the choice our choice of being able to purchase a product or not, that's what is so totally wrong and that is so un-American. It's not what we were built on. We want it, we're supposed to be able to make our own choice of freedom, freedom of choice rather, and our own freedom of speech. And that's really what irritated me, infuriated me more than anything. And um, I support my pillow and Mike Lindell and everyone who supports him also. I think that's the, that was just my way of making my own little statement. Well, obviously, to me, I mean, to fix the problem, which is more, you know, right up front, to reinstill the items of, of my pillow on the shelves and an apology to my pillow, I think, from Kohl's and HEB and Bed Bath and Beyond and Wayfair. They overstep their bounds um, to to pull a product like that. I mean, sure, they said, yeah, it's lack of sales. That's why we've had to pull it. I don't buy that. For all of these big corporations to have done this at the same time, simultaneously, it's kind of a no-brainer as to really what's behind all this. So I just wish more people would be more open to respect uh, the opinions of others and not label them for how they feel. We should be able to respect each other and listen to each other. And um, we don't have to agree with them, but at least to be civil about it. I was very professional. I was very nice when I went to Kohl's. I didn't cause a scene by any means. Uh, there are ways we can, we can do that without causing spectacles and, and harming others. That's what I would like to see come of this. Mm -hmm.